numa ilha Eu quero navegar Como certo pra nenhum lugar Nem cais, nem bandeira No meu corpo Nada além do sol E um jeito muito sensual Sem roupa, sem medo Deixar os pelos e os cabelos do
sobre a pele um bronzeado moreno Pra guardar o feitiço do sol Na cor Água clara Pra gente se banhar E no corpo balançar do mar Mexendo, tentando Gente, o bicho Não pode resistir E a vida é tudo isso aí painting, sculpting, and I've like gotten to an experimental video recently. That was my um, ideal morning routine. I've been in New York for a little bit. Um, uh, I just turned 25 and I've been like kind of living here since 18 and a half or something like that. But I just always had this like romantic picture of what New York was and like that. Uh, mainly because I saw the movie Rent, um, West Side Story across the universe because in that movie they come here um and then i found out about allen ginsberg and the velvet underground and i thought i would kind of just thought i would be here wait so let me tell you about the the last normal day in the city i went to get brunch with a couple friends I went to this place called thai diner it was friday the 13th we were gonna get one of these uh, tattoos then i had to go to work we were gonna get tattoos but I didn't have time, so I had to work. Um, I get there, and as soon as I get there, I'm like getting ready, getting dressed, whatever. And then I get a text from my manager, a missed call and a text, which is like, whoa. The manager kind of like called everyone together, and they were like, hey, uh, nothing's to be done here. We'll be in touch with you later. And I was just like, <laughs> like we closed. So I call my friends back up. I go get a tattoo. We wait. We're the only people doing this on Friday the 13th. And I've never done it before, so they're telling me like, oh, it takes a long time. The lines are crazy. I think one other, two other people came in besides us. There were like five of us getting tattoos this day. That day marked the end of, you know, New York in the spring, which was weird. Some, some place that's like so invincible, which I know nothing's invincible, but like I just always thought of New York as like invincible. But yeah, so that nothing was the same since then um the rest of the day was nice i went to this like it was kind of my last gathering with people um i went to this like really cool poetry reading at someone's house um and i kind of thought like oh that's how i'll socialize now i'll just go to people's houses um and then as things went on uh i like started to realize that you know that wasn't going to be working out because you know you really have to minimize your contact with people so i don't know it was kind of hard um it's part of the reason i wanted to like start this channel because uh i'm like learning how to build an online community which before i didn't really want to do you know i mean it's becoming like more and more clear that like even if this thing didn't happen um i would have to learn how to be better at that um, just about all of us getting used to this new normal, um, and realizing that we can all come together during this time, but, um, yeah, making this channel, showing my ideal routine, um, to share that, like, you know, you can still be healthy during these times, um, you're gonna have to, like, work extra hard on mental health stuff, stay connected with the people, um, get yourself moving because you're not moving nearly as much. Like I looked at my, um, my steps that I take and it used to be like, you know, walk, working or walking around New York City and working at a restaurant and just like being an active 20 something year old, like you walk a lot. Like I think I was averaging 17,000 to like 24,000 steps a day. Just, just walk. It was just like a realization that like if I don't, if I don't move my body, it's like, this is not gonna, I'm not gonna come out of this healthy. Even if I like avoid coronavirus and stuff like that. Um, so I just wanted to share 
my routine and um, show that it's possible, you know, to keep taking care of yourself during these times. Um, and it kind of keeps you sane. Um, so, I will be making more videos about life in quarantine and hopefully after. Well, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more quarantine content. Um, yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be interesting. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, thank you. Catch you in my next video. Bye.